Hello, my name is Megan Post, water quality agent at the University of Arkansas System Division of Agriculture Cooperative Extension Service in Washington County. Today we are going to assemble a fishing line recycling bin step by step. The materials that you need are one four inch 90 degree elbow and make sure that they're two female ends, one two foot piece of four inch PVC, one drain cover, one Charlotte's tube, make sure it's a female, and also a threaded cap to go on the end of that. You'll also need a hacksaw, and then PVC primer and PVC cement. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to assemble is the top to the two foot piece. So it's going to look like this. I'm gonna start off by primering the inside lip of my 90 degree elbow, make sure it's nice and clean. It's nice to be able to do this kind of work outside. It does get really smelly. We're also going to prime where it connects with our two foot piece. And then we'll take our glue and we'll glue over the primer. And then we're gonna connect the two joints together and make sure that it touches the lip of the inside of the elbow, just like so. We'll set this down and prepare our next piece, which will be our Charlotte plug. I like to unscrew the adapter plug first. Again, we're gonna primer and get it ready, nice and clean, where it's going to connect with our PVC on the two foot piece. So I'm gonna prime the inside here it's important to not get any glue on the threaded part. We don't want our, our adapter plug to be stuck in there. That's the part that is actually going to enable us to empty the fishing line. All right, and then again, we're just gonna glue over where we primed it. and then we will join them together. All right, we'll screw the end of this on. Okay, now that our bin is constructed, we're going to make a lid. This lid will fit over the top like so, and this will actually prevent birds from nesting inside your bin, which you don't want, they'll get stuck and entangled and it'll also prevent trash from getting inside your bin. In order for to open it up a little bit, we're going to cut out the three inside pieces with our hacksaw, just like so. Now I'm going to prime the inside of the lid here. The inside of the PVC where the lid is going. I'm also just gonna put some primer on the end of this just for fun. And then we're going to glue our lid in. So I'm applying the glue where the lip starts and that's what's going to catch and hold our lid. I'm just gonna put some glue on the inside piece of our lid here. And these are just regular storm drain covers. This is a four inch um, in that you can get at your local hardware store. All right. Now, as I insert this into the PVC, I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and lined up perpendicular, but parallel to the earth, just like so. And there you have it. Hi, this is Future Megan here with a couple updates. So I have learned that PVC glue does not hold in our front grate. 
rather you want to use super glue. So you're going to spread super glue on the inside of the PVC lip as well as around the outside of the grate and then insert it um, and it should hold for you. The second thing is we did update the website so pay attention towards the end of this video. So once you install this you'll probably uh, put it onto a T-post. This bin is going to be part of our Adopt-A-Bin project and you can learn more about that at uaex.uada.edu slash fishing line. These bins help prevent non-point source pollution such as fishing line from entering our natural environment.